want somehow to shape and change the world, to have to leave something of value in our way, not for fame and fortune, but rather for the satisfaction of knowing that we have done the right thing. Like Sadat, going and making peace with Israel was, I can't tell you how difficult it was for the people even to accept it at that time. It was something unbelievable. But because he was very sincere to make peace, he knew that he is going to pay a very high price. He knew that he was going to lose his life. But it didn't stop him, as I told you, at all. He wanted to stop the bloodshed. He wanted to save his sons in the armies instead of going every few years with a war between Egypt and Israel. He wanted to stop this and negotiate and take his right. And he took all Sinai, not one inch left. And that was something that he died, but he left behind him a legacy which will never, ever die. I have never met a woman, regardless of her economic and social status, who does not want to be treated fairly, who does not want a better way of life for her children, who does not want to contribute to the welfare of her family, her community, and her country. Sadly, millions of women with great potential cannot pursue these very basic goals, simply because they are not educated. For them, even the most basic elementary and secondary education combined with job training would improve their status immensely as well as improve the overall economic and social development of their nations. In, in our world today, despite all of our inventions and innovations, the illiterate and untrained still must toil long and hard just to eke out a substandard living. To make matters worse, some societies exercise massive resistance to the education and training of women despite the depressed living standards of their people. 